Chen Kui. Food plays an important part in every culture. Today's society views food in a different light than the societies of the ancient world. From the time of the ancient Near East to the era of early medieval Europe, food had more purposes than mere consumption. It represented an abundance of things such as spirituality, strength, knowledge, and power. Today, people often forget the aspects of food that had symbolic significance in the past. The earliest examples of the significance of food can be seen in the Neolithic cave painting of a deer hunt. This work of art captures the unity and organization of ancient Neolithic people. In comparison, people who hunt in the 21st century rarely hunt in order to provide food for themselves. They hunt for sport. Now, while the meat of the animal is often still used, it is not necessary because other sources of food are available. The importance of food is also evident in the Sumerian Waka vase. This vase is one of the first examples of Sumerian narrative art. It can be compared to the farmer's almanac, which advises farmers on how to take care of their crops and livestock, similar to how the Warka vase guided citizens of Sumer. Just like the relief carvings of the Warka vase, the cylinder seal found in the tomb of Puabi has relief carvings of a banquet scene. In the banquet scene, many stylized figures drink and congregate in a social atmosphere. The imagery is similar to modern Thanksgiving feasts. Both are banquet atmospheres where the people congregate together. In Egypt, representations of the dead were often found in tombs. In Mastaba of Tea, there are images of goats treading seeds and cattle crossing a canal. These images are meant to be representative of the journey to the afterlife. In current times, we use machinery such as tractors to farm the land. Farming is not connected in our contemporary ideas to the afterlife and is only a means of producing crop. Egyptians also focused on the powerful meaning of the funerary feasts. We see the important nature of food within the fresco that was unearthed from the tomb of Nibamun. In our current culture, wakes are arranged before funerals in order to commemorate the deceased. In addition, visitation of gravestones on special dates is a common tradition. Our society focuses more on the life of the living than the house of the spirit afterwards. Mycenaean people also found an important significance in food. They made large mixing bowls for drinks called craters. These dishes were lavishly painted and are considered an art form. Even today, the idea of turning drinking into an art is continued. The contemporary artist Michael Goddard personifies martini shakers, glasses, and olives in his pieces. Etruscans represented food in an indirect and subtle way with the well-known Capitoline Wolf bronze sculpture. While this is indirectly related to food, it still supports the idea of food as a spiritual and intimate connection. While perhaps not as strongly as in the Etruscan times, today milk is still a symbolic of fertility. A funerary piece depicting a market vendor showcases the life of a middle class merchant in the time of the Romans. During this time, the people not only cultivated food but sold it to others as well. Today it is not uncommon to see our own version of a street vendor. A truck selling food can be found on many city blocks. While in a different form, the idea remains the same. As the Roman Empire changed, the way food was looked at changed as well. In the mosaic of the miracle of loaves and fishes, Jesus provides fish and bread for the hungry. In current times, there are many relief programs that provide aid and food to third world countries, disaster victims, and the needy in general. While religion is a very large part of keeping faith, the generosity and assistance of organizations and individuals is very important as well. In medieval Europe, Christianity was a major aspect in daily life. The giant bronze doors with relief panels found at St. Michael's of Hildesheim show Genesis and the life of Christ. The story of Adam, Eve, and the original sin is told. This story is where the belief that apples symbolized and brought about knowledge comes from. In recent times, it is becoming a trend for chefs to include intricately uh, carved apples to their dishes. The apple, an edible object, has become one of the most powerful symbols in the written history of our world. The way food is looked at has changed over history. And with this change of ideas, the way they were represented has changed as well. The art has adapted with the way people look at food. Even though food has become less religiously significant, it is still portrayed in the popular art of today.